we're going to construct an arch for a Christmas display. We're going to use 20 foot of 1 inch by 1 inch aluminum to construct this project. First thing we do, I already bent it into an arch. It's a 20 foot piece, left it straight 15 inches on each end. I'm going to use approximately 125 LEDs, so I measured them and marked them. Now I am drilling a starter hole with one quarter inch drill bit. After we drill 125 holes, we clamp it down on the work table so we can finish drilling. I use four different drill bits to do this task quarter inch for the starter hole, a 3 8 inch the next size up, 7 16 and then a 12 millimeter, make sure it's a 12 millimeter for the LED and then a 15 30 seconds. Right now I'm drilling the hole making it larger each time I drill. The reason why I do that it eliminates the burrs on the inside which you can't get to, you know, get to to deburr. I use oil to help the situation out for drilling to make the drill bits last longer. After drilling all the holes, I'm putting the WS2811 IC modules into each one of the holes. I'm putting it in on the 15 30 seconds hole and getting them all seated. After getting them all ready to go, then we have to push them all the way through the hole. You just apply a little pressure on the back, and I modify the hemostats to grab a hold of the LED. So you press down just a little and twist. It pops into place. That's why it's important to use different size drill bits so that the burrs aren't there. Now we have to parallel the uh, power supply because each one of the strips are 50 lights long and uh, you need to parallel these strips with extra electric wire. If not, there's too much current running through the small wires. I'm just using a thin 18 gauge wire to parallel the B plus source. At each one of the 50 junctions I hook up the B plus for each side. I solder all of my joints considering they're going outside because we live in Florida and we have a lot of condensation and a lot of rain. So I'm just putting caps over it just to protect them. The next thing we have to prepare is each one of the wires for the data line and you know the three wires that we have on the 2811s. Right now we're stripping the wires. And after I strip all the wires, I tint them with the soldering iron. Make sure it's got a good coating of solder on it. Next thing, I just put them side by side and just tack them. I haven't had any problems doing this. Uh, they've worked perfectly fine. The hard part is make sure that when you heat them up, you don't get a cold solder joint. After we get them all soldered, we use a shrink tubing and a heat gun and shrink them down. That makes them stronger and fairly water sealed. After we get it all connected, we're going to hook up the data line to the controller. 
And then we're going to hook up the B plus to the power supply. Uh, the chips that I'm using here are 5 volts. You can buy them 12 volts, but all of my system's been 5, so I just kept it that way. As you can see, this is my test pattern. Uh, it's just the three RGB colors that's running. And you got to remember, each one of these arches are 20 feet long, and I have six of them. Taking the picture in the daytime because my camera freaks out uh, with these LEDs because they're so bright. So this is Florida sun in the daytime. And as you can see, I'm running a test pattern. And there's the two loops that I made also during this. Your camera can do any better. Okay, now it got dark and I'm trying to take the picture of just the arches. So as you can see the arches, you know, they're blinking at random. Now I got the color bands going back and forth. And like I said, I have six arches. And here's my whole display. It's just a little dab less than 200 feet um, and everything. So this is my 2017 display that's running my test data at the moment. So thank you for watching. Just hope I gave you some ideas on how to do uh, your projects.